This is Matt Callahan from paperflame.com with a video tutorial on creating a page curl or a page peel. I'm going to start off with the black just so I can see better, uh, creates a better contrast just for kind of figuring things out. Now let's go up to our tools palette. We will grab the rectangle tool, shift and drag, create a nice simple square. I'm going to bring it up a little bit here. Okay, so that's an actual shape layer object, and you can see it here. You can actually choose to select the path around the square by looking at the little lines on the corners. So if you see the lines, it's selected. If you don't see the lines, it's not. So you want to make sure this is selected because we've got to modify this shape here. So what we are going to use is going to the pen tool. You stay up in shape layer. Now, currently, it is actually set at create new shape layer. We want to actually remove from that. So what we go to is the third option called subtract from shape area. Choose that and what we're going to do is we just cut across the corner like so. Pretty simple. Now you, of course you can go over here and reselect or not select. So what we're going to do here is start to create the actual page corner here that's actually peeled over or folded over or bent over, whichever way you want to see it. And I'm going to actually click, click and drag a little, click and drag a little, and then close the shape. Now you'll see why I clicked and dragged, because it created arms on both sides, tangent arms, tangent handles I should say, uh, on these points so that I can modify these lines here into the shape I like. Now grabbing the direct selection tool, you can choose the point here and you'll see these lines here. Okay, that affects that, and that affects that. I'm going to bring this over here. We do not need this tangent handle, so I'm going to put it in and create a little curl. Okay, same thing here. You'll notice that there's a tangent handle here, there's a tangent handle here, and there's a tangent handle here. We don't need this handle, so I'm going to put it into the point and create my little curl here. Uh, you can just mess around with this until you think it looks good. And it takes a little uh, getting used to using the pen tool. Now I'm going to reposition the corners so that they are more or less right on top where I need them to be. And you can of course zoom in a little bit to make sure that you're there. Now looks pretty good for all intents and purposes and I'm happy with the curves here. You can curve it, not curve it, doesn't really matter. Okay, so that's the little dog ear or the page curl. Okay, and you'll see the shapes here. Shape one is the bottom, and shape two is the actual dog ear or the page curl. So what we want to do now is add some gradient real quick. Um, I'm going to start off at the bottom. Okay, and all you do is you go to layer, layer style, gradient overlay. I'm going to open it up. Actually, let's remove this color stop. This side I'm going to go with a darker red, and this side I will go with a, a nice light red. And you can see the gradient here. Now this gradient goes up and down. We want a 45 degree angle, so let's OK this. And what we will do is then go in and change this to 45 degrees. You'll see it now goes gradient left to right at an angle of 45 degrees. Uh, I'm going to say OK to that. Now let's choose shape 2. And we're going to do the same thing. So let's just go to layer, layer style, gradient overlay. Now we actually want to shine. A lot of these have a shine here and they're dark on the edges. So this actually is a three color curve or a three color gradient I should call it. So let's open it up. We want the tip here to be a nice dark red. We want the edge to be a dark red also because of shadowing. We want the center, I'm going to go with the red and even add a little white into it just to get it really light. Now you notice the gradient once again is up and down, so let's just OK it, change it to 45 degrees, and you can kind of see how it's working. It's actually starting to work out pretty nicely, but we can modify this by going back into it, and you can see there's, I'm going to make this side a little darker. Let's open it up, get a little darker red going. Okay, now we can slide the color stop to where we want until we're happy with where the actual gradient fits nicely. Okay, now you'll notice there's no dark in the back side, so we can bring this back side in until we start seeing that dark. Okay, and you can do it as much as you like, as little as you like, it's really all preference. So we can move this in a little bit, 
looks pretty good, not too bad. Um, for all intents and purposes, let's just stick with that. There's also midpoints that you can move around and play with these color midpoints, and that's just, it's really all just preference. So let's OK this, OK that, and there's our page curl. Pretty basic, pretty simple, it's starting to look good. Um, now what I'm going to do is just add a little drop shadow. So what we'll do is we go into here, we're going to stay on this ear, OK, on this page curl. So let's go up here to layer, layer style, I'm going to choose drop shadow. Okay, it actually comes good, you know, right off the bat. We don't really have to do too much. I'm going to probably just lower the opacity a little bit just to make it not so blatant. And I think that's pretty good right there. You can play with the distance spread and the size, of course, but it's all preference. So let's stick with that. Now I'm going to go to shape one, which is the lower. And what I'll do there is we can just choose it, make sure, you know, it's selected. It doesn't really matter. Um, well, let's go in, add another layer style drop shadow. And what we'll do is, you can kind of see here, it's, it's already there um, pretty nicely. I'm going to lower the opacity, make it a little more natural looking. And once again, you can play with some of the settings here. Uh, default's pretty nice. And there it is. That's the page curl. Um, not much to it. There's one last little effect that we can do to the actual curled piece up here. And this isn't really necessary, but I tend to just uh, I think it looks good. And what we're going to do is we can also just go to the effects here instead of going to layer style and looking at the effects here. So another way, of course, is just by oops, is just by going here and clicking effects here. Okay, I'm going to add inner shadow. Now you can see the inner shadow is way too strong there. So I'm going to probably let's see, let's just go down a little bit. You can see what nothing is and see what the max is, and then just kind of slide it around. We just want a slight little touch, nothing, nothing too much. And there we go. I'm going to deselect this so we can get rid of the path that was surrounding it. And that's the page curl. It's a really easy effect. It's a great effect. It can be used for all different kinds of things, for making you know, things look like stickers or whatever it may be. Um, it could be a circle. I mean, we could have a circle here. We could have any kind of oblong, blobby kind of shape with a curl from the tip. Um, it doesn't really matter, it's, uh, it's how you want to use it, and it's a really uh, great effect once again, and that's about it. I uh, hope you like the tutorial, it's pretty easy, and you can find more tutorials over at paperflame.com. Uh, once again, this is courtesy of Matt Callahan for paperflame.com, and that's it. I'm out of here. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.